You, women, are a glorious sight. Thank you for your goodness, your kindness, your courage, and your light. We provide relief, temporal and spiritual, through the power of the Savior, and in the process, find our own relief. We find Jesus Christ. Through our Savior Jesus Christ, we can receive relief from navigating the challenges of life alone. We all have concerns and needs that we can feel alone in. Sisters, perhaps like me, you have pled for help to not be left alone in some of the most emotionally, physically, and spiritually demanding seasons of your life. These intense seasons have left what I call spiritual stretch marks on the soul. But I bear witness that He has carried me, and He will carry you. I am so grateful to be able to be with you today to speak about the emotional relief that our Savior Jesus Christ can provide. He knows each one of us intimately. He loves each one of us dearly. And He desires to be a part of our lives and bless us with the divine relief we each so desperately need. I witness that He lives. He is the Master Healer. Jesus Christ is relief. The Relief Society was organized to help prepare a people for the temple, both spiritually and temporally. Consistent with our original charge, today, in 2023, we continue to address the temporal needs of Heavenly Father's children all around the globe. I recently had the opportunity to travel to the northeast corner of Uganda. It was the first time I had personally seen such dire physical circumstances, and yet I felt hope. The temporal relief we brought in the name of the Savior's Church brought hope to the most vulnerable of Heavenly Father's children. It was a privilege and blessing to feed starving children in Africa. and. There are malnourished children right here. There is housing insecurity, food insecurity, emotional distress, pain, grief, lack of education, and disappointment here, right here in our own backyards. Sisters, it is our covenantal blessing to partner with Jesus Christ in providing relief, both temporal and spiritual, to all of God's children. I think they nailed it, you know, to just draw on the Savior and and to really hone in to what matters the most. I just love how everything is focused on our Savior, Jesus Christ. There's just, there's an energy here and such a spirit here that is just invigorating. We all need that, just to feel the Savior's love for us and, um, and to get the strength that we need from Him and from each other. I've been coming uh, to BYU Women's Conference for about probably 25 years, and I've come with my mom and my sisters and, I, and my sister-in-law. Now my daughters are doing it. I love gathering together. I draw such strength from that. We're excited to be here together and for me to, to keep this little tradition going with my own children.